I believe everyone in this world is a dreamer. My name is Imano Fosiebua. I was born in Ghana. When you're born in Ghana as a deformed child, they believe that you were cursed. So they ask your family members to kill you. That's how they tell my mom to kill me. And my mom said, no, I'm not going to kill my son. So the time I was born, my father left home and um, I'm staying with only my mom, single mother taking care of me. Every day my mom carry me from my home to school. It's like six months every day. I remember at the age of maybe nine, ten years, and my mom said, Emmanuel, you are too heavy. I can't carry you again. So you have to walk to school by yourself. And I said, how can I do that? And um, she asked me every day before you go to school, what did you do? And I said, I hop around. And she said, OK, then hop to school. So many students don't wanted to play with me. They said, no, you are a disabled person. You can't play with us. I didn't let that to maybe bring my what I wanted to do down. I saved money to buy my own soccer ball and they add me to the team. Because of my mom, she doesn't have money to continue my education. I just drop out and I do my shoemaking for full time. And um, I decided to travel to Accra. I saw so many people begging on the street and I said, wow. So that's how I decided to ride a bicycle across the country to change the perception how people think for disabled people. I write letters to many companies in Ghana for them to give me money to buy a bicycle. None of them gave me money and some of them they are laughing. I met missionaries in Ghana from America and I said, hey guys, I want to buy a bicycle. And they said, oh, Emmanuel, it sounds great, but we are missionaries, we don't have money. But we know a foundation called Challenge Adult Foundation, CF. They're based in San Diego, California. They have so many athletes like you. So maybe when you talk to them or when you write to them, they can able to help you. I sent the letter. A couple months later, I received this letter through my church. They sent me the grant form to fill it out. I sent the letter to them again. A couple months later, they sent me a bicycle all the way from California to Ghana. And I said, wow, today my dream is going to start. I used my only one leg to ride 600, 400 miles in 10 days. And I hear so many negative words from people. Why are you doing this with the one leg? You have to stop. It's not what the people are saying out there is going to change what I'm going to do but I know what I wanted to achieve from this bike ride. So after I finished the bike ride and I sent the media report, they invite me to the state and I used my one leg to ride with them here for 56 miles. And it took me like eight hours for me to finish the 56 miles here, but I did it. So after that, they said they are going to provide me a prosthesis. They told me, am I ready for the prosthesis? And I said, yes, because I wanted to work on my two feet and see how to work on your two feet looks like. The time I'm going back to Ghana, then I have my two legs working without any crutches and everything. And I was very, very happy. And I was very, very proud about how America changed my life. My next goal is to build a school in Ghana for both disabled people and the able people to go to school for free. But if the government or president of Ghana pass a law for anyone from preschool up to university or anywhere to go to school for free, or all the disabled people to go to school for free, I'll be very happy. When I share my story with people, I want people to be smart, to be very happy, to know what is going on in the world. In this world, it's both up and down, but always keep smiling because smile is best medication in the world. Keep smiling all the time, every day. God bless you.